This is a report on the year's activities of St. Teresa's R.C. Church of Rio Claro, a year dedicated to the family. It will be presented in four parts, Advent and Christmas, Lent and Easter, Post-Easter, and Youth Activities. Our year began on the 6th of December 2009, the first Sunday of Advent. All the activities of the year focused on the family, as this was the overall theme of the Archdiocese. Advent and Christmas As customary, the first candle in our Advent wreath was lit. However, this year, being dedicated to the family, each family in the parish was asked to make their own wreath and light their respective candles. They were also asked to pray together as a means of bringing the family closer together during the seasons of Advent and Christmas. First, there was home visitation for the year where homes were visited by teams of each community as a means of reaching out to persons during this time of the year, especially those Catholics who had not been to church for some time. Next, the Heads of Household Committee also hosted a dinner for our senior citizens, for these parishioners who had made invaluable contributions to the development of our parish. They were treated to a sumptuous Christmas dinner, as well as parang and other musical items. And then there was our annual parish Christmas concert, which again proved to be a treat with talented performances by members of our parish and the Helene Chorale. The crash was opened on the same evening following the Christmas concert with a wonderful rendition of Christmas carols. Parang was provided by our own choir, supported by our friend Dave and a few members of his Parang group from Princess Town, who generously gave of their time to share their God-given talents with members of our parish. On the Feast of the Holy Family, all families were encouraged to attend Holy Mass on that day, and the children were given toys which were blessed. And so we passed on to Lent. The season of Lent at St. Teresa's began with our Ash Wednesday service and continued with a number of activities aimed at bringing our families together, both at home and within their communities. They started with a second home visitation, which was conducted throughout the parish. Parishioners were encouraged to provide their own food security in our second Lenten Grow Your Food effort. Last year we received seedlings. This year we distributed plantain suckers on the first Sunday of Lent. The vocation cup was also passed around in our parish during this time, and each week during Lent a different family welcomed the cup into their home and families were again encouraged to pray for vocations, for their own personal needs, and also to have meals together, thereby observing the year of the family during this holy season of Lent. Lenten retreats were conducted in each community. Within each of the immediate communities, Rio Claro North, Rio Claro South, Enid Village, and Levertville with a retreat being held at the home of one of the families within that community. For four consecutive nights, members of each community gathered to pray and to listen to talks delivered by different speakers at the volunteered family home. And then we all gathered at the church on the fifth night. The communities of Dades Road held its own retreat during Lent on Wednesday evenings, while the communities of Cush and Santa Rita held their own outdoor crusades for Lent. Our annual Lime with Jesus was held at the Rio Claro public car park on the Friday before Holy Week. It was well attended by both parishioners and non-parishioners, Catholics as well as members of other religious denominations and was conducted by the very inspirational charismatic preacher, 
Mistress Janet Chenia, from St. Gabriel's R.C. School in San Fernando. On the Wednesday of Holy Week, the annual Seder meal was held and was well attended by our parishioners. On glorious Saturday night, the RCIA candidates were welcomed into the church in a beautiful ceremony conducted during the Easter Vigil. The couples who were part of this program were also married. It was very special. Next, we move on to our post-Easter activities. Subsequent to Easter, the parish, under the leadership of Sister Annette, continued to be alive and present to its people with the following activities. Leading off was our parish sports day held on the Shelk Recreation Grounds, and we started with Mass. After Mass, breakfast was served, and then there was a grand march past in which each community participated by marching and depicting the theme song, All Are We Is One Family. Following the march, there were a number of fun races and fun activities. Indeed, there was something for everyone, regardless of age or church ministry. Then came our beautiful Corpus Christi observance. The parish celebrated with Holy Mass, at which new Eucharistic ministers were commissioned. And seeds were also given out for planting. And after Mass, there was a usual procession, which was led by Father Stephen and the confirmation candidates. On Sunday, the 25th of July, 2010, the Feast of St. Joachim and Anne, married couples renewed their wedding vows at a service where there was a light sharing of refreshments afterwards. Then the final home visitation for this cycle took place in August. Our annual parish harvest took place on Sunday, the 3rd of October, 2010. As usual, it was a grand event, well attended by Catholics from far and wide, as well as members from the general public. The day started with Holy Mass, and continued with a sumptuous lunch prepared by our parishioners. There was a wide variety of stalls put on by members of our various communities and groups of ministries within the parish. We also had live parang put on by parang groups from Rio Claro and Hard Bargain. The harvest continues to grow in popularity each year with many citizens from Rio Claro itself attending and then so many from all over Trinidad, even as far away as Toko, coming to celebrate our grand day. There was also a special blessing for our parish this year as both priests who celebrate Mass with us on weekends celebrated significant anniversaries of ordination this year. Father Stephen Joffre celebrated his 25th anniversary of ordination, and Father Eddie Birmingham celebrated his 40th anniversary of ordination to the priesthood this year. In gratitude for all that they do for us, the parish celebrated with Father Stephen on Sunday the 10th of October, and with Father Eddie on Sunday, the 21st of November. To both of them, we, the members of St. Teresa's R.C. Rio Claro, express our heartfelt thanks for their love, support, and prayers. And we ask God to bless them and grant them the grace and physical strength to persevere in the work that He has called them to. And finally, a big part of our parish celebration of the Year of the Family was our youth ministry. During this year, our St. Teresa's Youth Ministry of Rio Claro continued to be vibrant under the direction of the parish youth leaders. They went caroling in El Guanapo housing development, bringing a reminder of the real reason for the Christmas season and lifting the spirits of those who were serenaded. They held a Christmas dinner also for the confirmation candidates in an attempt to bring them together as family and also to get them to know each other and the youth leaders so much better. 
In January, the young men of the confirmation class were taken on a weekend retreat to Mount St. Benedict. And in February, the entire class was taken to the EMEA Center in Arima under the leadership of the youth leaders and some of the hard-working parents and other ladies of the parish. Two of the youth leaders, together with one of our parents, took the responsibility for preparing the confirmation candidates every Sunday, and with other youth leaders assisting them in between. The youth group took the responsibility of running the soft drinks bar at the parish sports day held on May the 2nd. They did purchasing, sales, and accounting for the proceeds of the bar, and all of this was done by our youth group. A walkathon and health fair was also conducted by the youth ministry of the parish on the 14th of August 2010. The theme of this walkathon was Health and Wellness in the Family, continuing our Year of the Family theme. Part proceeds went towards the Trinidad and Tobago Cancer Society and the Heart Foundation. We are happy to note that the youth group, confirmation class, and altar servers all ran separate stalls in the parish harvest held on Sunday the 3rd of October. The youth's year ended with confirmation on Sunday the 31st of October with His Grace the Archbishop braving the thunderous storms to reach us. Despite the inclement weather and some serious flooding in Navet and outlying areas, all the candidates who were prepared were able to receive their confirmation in the Spirit at the grand celebration of Confirmation Mass. We thank you for listening to our report, and we thank God for His abundant blessings and grace showered down on our parish in this year of the family.